Hey guys, when I started this whole thing back up again, I was quite surprised at how many of you have been really wanting Target hauls again. And I feel like Target has been very hit or miss for me with clothing, but recently I've been running in and out for Valentine's and gifts and stuff. And I've just been like picking up things here and there. And I really, really like everything. So I'm gonna do a whole big Target haul I'm also going to share um, some Valentine's ideas. I got little baskets for the kids and I got the teacher's gifts and I've pretty much found everything at Target, a couple things at Michael's, but I wanted to give you guys ideas if you need them for your teachers or if you do these little, I think they're called Cupid's baskets um, for your kids and what I put inside of them. And then I'm going to do an old school try on. Rather than Instagram, we're going to do it here and we'll see how it goes. I'm going today for a chemical peel and so I needed to film this like super early in the morning because I'm gonna have orange paste on my face the rest of the day and we'll be able to do a try on. But let me let me start by sharing what I did for each of the kids. Okay. And now keep in mind, I, I'm gonna do some mixing and matching and rearranging and I've also been, I got a, a bunch of stuff so some of the stuff I'm gonna save for Easter baskets but I just wanna give you some ideas. I got these cute little, heart buckets they had blue ones and they had pink ones which I'll show you I got a blue for Leo blue for Benny and a pink one for Addie they were in the dollar spot like I said I think they were only a dollar I cut the price tag off Hershey Kisses milk chocolate um okay so this is Bentley's I did a little mini brand I don't know if you guys are in, your kids are into these but Addie and Bentley are so into mini brands a little car Paw Patrol car him and Leo love cars this is dart gun which I just so happened to find two of so I got one for Leo's basket and then one of these little packs and then the filler I just found on Michael at, at Michael's and then I also tie little ribbons to the basket so that's just a little something um with cute little ideas you can get these in the dollar spot I always get these before like trips airplanes they're great to take on the plane and I might actually take the car out of the package. I don't know yet because it's kind of a tight squeeze, but that is Benny's. And then Leo's, I actually I think I mixed them up. Paw Patrol is usually, I gotta mix these around, but I'm just noticing. And then this is Leo's. Same thing, I did the Hershey Kisses, um, Lightning McQueen. I got him the Rebel guy from Paw Patrol, the dark gun, and the little play pack. I think that's what it was. I mixed up the play packs. I got Batman for Benny, and I got Paw Patrol for Leo. Okay, and then let me show you Addie's, and then I have to hide these from them. Here is Addie's little basket. Um, I got this headband for her that's embellished with these crystals. This took me back. This is a little heart container, Coca-Cola with the lip smackers in um, cherry vanilla, uh, Coca-Cola, and vanilla Coca-Cola. I used to have these when I was growing up and I was so excited when I found them. I got her a little mini, mini brand toy, the Hershey Kisses, did I say that? I found this in the dollar spot. I thought it was cute, it's dollar. Little pink unicorn. And then I got her the little one of these little La Loopsy dolls. She loves these and some pink and purple Tic Tacs. So that is Addie's basket. I can show you for Louie. Obviously I don't do like the little things, but he loves Reese's. So I got him this and I usually just do gift cards. So I got him a little Apple gift cards. So that'll be for Louie. Teacher gifts. Y'all know if you follow me, if you've been following me, I love doing teacher gifts and I love doing, I was too blown out. I love doing unique teacher gifts, putting a little bit of thought into it. We appreciate our teachers so much, especially in the last couple years and all that they have had to pretty much endure and accept and pivot all the pivots that they made. So um, I like putting a lot of thought into these usually, but especially this year, I can't take credit for this idea. I found this on an Instagram account that when I was looking for Valentine's for the kids. So this is not my idea, but this is the little pink heart basket. And rather than, I usually spend for something little like this, that's not like Christmas, like 20, $25 typically um, for a gift. So this basket was, I think when I totaled it, it was like $18, everything inside of it. 
which I think is really great. So I did the little basket with the filler. I got this cute little spatula from Target. These were a dollar. These are back in like the Valentine's seasonal section, not in the dollar spot. I had to do, here, they're by Spritz. I had to do this times four because we have Bentley's two teachers and Addie's two teachers. Okay, then I got these cute little dishcloths and I actually got a lot of these. They come in a two pack for $5 and they had a whole bunch in the dollar spot. I got a lot of these for us, for our kitchen. And then um, some of them I am gonna roll up because I have to do four of these baskets, like I said. So these are really cute little ideas that you can mix in. And then I did this little waffle maker. How freaking cute is this? I had to get four of these. I'll show you what they look like. I had to take it out of the box. This is what they look like. Um, mini wa I love mini waffle maker. Last year they had these that were heart-shaped waffles. I love this. We have a blue little uh, turquoise waffle maker. They come in lots of different colors. They're little miniatures. I make like egg waffles and you can put, um, you can take like cinnamon, cinnabun, cinnamon roll dough and put them in here. Like these are the cutest things. So last year they had light pink ones that made heart waffles. This year they have this one that has X's and O's on it, which I think is so cute. Here I can show you the picture. So and the reason I wanted to get this video up before Friday is because, and let me just make sure as I'm filming this and I'm not telling you wrong, they were on sale when I bought them yesterday. Um, I hope that they're still on sale. Yes, they're still on sale. So they're regularly $12.99 and they are $9.99. And my store was stocked but I will tell you that these are go going to go as we get closer to Valentine's Day. Okay, then also at Target, how freaking cute. I got this little thing of maple syrup. This was $2.50, and then this is the best part. So I went into Michael's, and where's my Michael's bag? Here it is. I went into Michael's, and I got these fun little sprinkles, pink ones, and Okay, so these big things. And then I got these, you can find them on Amazon too, um, but they're in Michaels too. They're made to be like for necklaces, like packaging to put a necklace so they don't get tangled. But what I did was I took one and I filled it up with sprinkles and I put that in this basket. And I just think that that is super cute for little waffles. Um, the filler I got at Michaels. And then I'm gonna give this to the teachers too. This came out of the box. Um, this is like the directions and everything. So I'll, I'm gonna put these like, I think like, I don't know, in a bag or however I'll do it. But isn't that just the cutest, like nice little thoughtful gift. I took the little dish towel I stuck. Oh, well, it's the wrong one. I have to cut the tag off. I stuck the spatula just in the middle of that. And then the little maple syrup. Is that not just the cutest thing? And then I'm gonna take, I got ribbon, and I think I'm just gonna attach ribbon there and just give them to our teachers. I think that they are super cute, super thoughtful. Like I said, I cannot take credit for the idea, but um, you can find all of this stuff at Michaels and Target. And so let's see, $10 for the waffle thing, a dollar for the heart bucket is 11. The maple syrup was 250, the dish towel 250, so five, 16. 17 for the spatula and the sprinkle so like under $20 I think for something super thoughtful a little bit more thoughtful than a gift card or candle or a mug and I think that they would really appreciate that so I wanted to share that idea with you and also I got for the kids they love we love doing sugar cookies at Valentine's Day and at Christmas and they had these little kits um, my favorite day, Sparkle Heart Cookies, and I am probably going to chuck the, <laughs> the cookies that come in here. I don't know, I just find them to be, like, the gingerbread house, the gingerbread things when you go to decorate them, the cookies, the houses, and, like, the pre, like, well, I just don't like them. I, I use my aunt's sugar cookie recipe, um, for our sugar cookies. I don't know, I just am weird about that. But then they also included the pre-made pink icing pouch, red, white, and pink icing tubes, and then different colored sprinkles. And But I really just wanted like the icing and the sprinkles for the kids to do. And then how cute is this? This could also be a really sweet teacher gift. 
These are hot drink bomb kits and these are basically make your own hot cocoa bombs. The kids love hot cocoa bombs. We do them at Christmas every year and they in here you get the mold, the chocolate, the cocoa mix and marshmallows and non-pareil so you can decorate them. Um, I just thought that this was so cute. It makes six drink bombs and I know the kids are gonna go crazy for this. They love hot chocolate and it should be fun to do together. So I wanna share that. Okay, let me get cleaned up here and then I'm going to do a little try on for you. I got this sweatshirt, Rolling Stones. It has the hearts for Valentine's Day. I think I size up to a large. I'll put all the sizing information in the description box with the links and if anything is on sale, I will also note that in the description box when I go to link everything some of the stuff when I purchased it yesterday I purchased like picking picked up things here and there so um, but some of the stuff I got yesterday was on sale so I'll definitely make sure to note that in the description box if it's on sale call your attention to it but it's pretty lightweight it's not super heavy or thick but feels more like a shirt but I love love the hearts for Valentine's love. Day this sweater i got it in two colors i loved it so much these like mustards and turquoise and then it is functioning so this could open and then it has these beautiful crystal little buttons and then these it's gonna be hard to see these are like velvety velour sweatpants joggers i don't know what you would call them but I kind of love this outfit because it's comfy cozy, but also really pretty. Um, I love these colors. These pants come in a bunch of colors. I just feel my best and most comfortable in these autumn toned amber orangey terracotta browns. So those are usually the colors. I love. not all the time that I can find flannels in my favorite colors like browns um this was the only one i found so i don't even know if this is super old and was just like left over or it's new coming out or they were just sold out but it is so soft it's just feels just as good as the one in the nordstrom sale every year this is a small so it is very oversized and then these pants are different they're like a ribbed material almost like a lounge pant um, these are a small, small and small, but I am going to see if I can get a medium just for a little bit more length. They fit good. They're just an elastic waist. Um, I think they make your bum look good too, but I wish for them to be a little bit longer and they kind of have, kind of have this like scalloped edging along the bottom. This is what you guys get. I can't move my camera cause the tripod that it's on, like it won't swivel this way. So I'm sorry, but this is the bottoms. I just kind of wish they were a little bit longer because for once I, can you mad? can you believe like for once I need pants to be longer. Usually it's the opposite. But if I wear, I would probably wear like sneakers with this or truthfully just slippers at home. Um, I'd want them to be a little bit longer. So I am going to go back and see if I can get the mediums just to see if that gives me any more length. But this also I would wear like opened up with a black bodysuit underneath or tied around my waist. I just love the browns, especially for the fall and winter. And it's so, so soft. All right. Now this shirt to me feels like free people or urban outfitters. It almost has that same like burnout feel to it, like stretchy, thin, but not cheap. Um, I love the colors and the flowers for the spring. I think it's a great length and you can easily pair with some biker shorts. I would, or I would just keep these like ripped pants. You could do jeans, tuck it in, but it's just a really easy, there's a lot of movement to it. Um, lightweight graphic tee. Are the most fun pair of pants I think I've ever owned. They are bell bottoms. And they are coming back and let me tell you they make your butt look so good so nice and tight let me show you let me just let me just show you i'm gonna have to move you out here so you can actually see look at these Look at these. How insane. Dan was like, you look like you're trying to bring back the 70s. I said, 
I'm not trying. They're back. <laughs> um, they almost to me are like a jean and a skirt or a jean and a maxi dress had a baby. They're so wide, but here's the thing that I love about them. I can actually wear like sneakers if I wanted. I wouldn't, but I could wear flats, I should say, not even sneakers. Every other pair of bell bottoms I have tried on, I have had to either hem them or wear super high heels with them. The length on these is absolutely perfect, even with a booty. Um, but I really love them and I love the button fly and they fit really good. These are a two, so true to size, but I mean, they are like, they are very, they are drama, but I kind of love them. And then this is that same sweater that I just shared, but in the pink, I thought it was perfect for Valentine's Day with the buttons. It is a little bit cropped. You can see good here because these jeans are really high waisted. I mean, they come up over my belly button, but I just thought the colors in this sweater were so beautiful. Great for Valentine's Day, also great for spring, summer, and I'm just looking in the mirror and I feel like the neon is even more neon in person than what this camera is showing you. Let me see. Yeah, there, see? Love. I love, love, love this sweater so much about it. I love the color of it. It's a cool, true navy blue. The texture of it is really cool. At first when I picked it up, I thought it was like a Barefoot Dreams. Um, it's different, different from anything I have. The length is good. It's not quite a crop, but it's not as long as a traditional one. I think a great great length for a front tuck and then you could wear it off the shoulder if you wanted if you want to go for that look I would tell you to size up this is a small I think we'll put all my sizes like I said in the description box but yeah I would size up if you wanted to wear it more like off the shoulder I think it looks really great with jeans and it's really really lightweight so it would be a good sweater to transition into spring all right, last thing I have, another Rolling Stones. You could do this for spring. You could do this for St. Patty's Day. Love the emerald green. And I also really like that the sweater is not white, but not like beige. It's kind of that in-between. I sized up to a medium. You could do this with biker shorts. You could also do one of these, front tuck it. But this is a really nice, light and airy t-shirt. It's not stiff at all. And typically when tees are like that I like to go up a size to just have a more oversized fit um but yeah I think it looks great with jeans black leggings right so that is my target haul everything I picked up um I hope you guys enjoyed it I will have links to everything notes if there's a sale and my sizes in the description box I hope you guys enjoyed this this was super fun felt like old times thank you target for finally stepping up your game <laughs> lately I feel like the last year and a half has been so wishy-washy. Even some of the stuff they come out with, I'm like, really? Hope you guys are excited for Valentine's Day. Hope you got some good inspo for your kids or your teachers. Please take care of your teachers. They are working in overdrive these, these trying times. Um, and I know it goes a long way with them. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you're all staying safe, healthy. I'm going to go get a chemical peel now. <laughs> Bye.